Hello, this is the first video out of three on the topic Traces of Surfaces, Cylinders, and Surfaces of Revolution. Let's begin our discussion on traces. Recall that the graph of an equation involving x and or y is a curve in R2, while the graph of an equation involving x, y, and or z is a surface in R3. Some examples of surfaces are, number 1, given ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0. This is a linear equation in three variables. We know from the previous lecture that the graph of this equation is a plane. Another example is this equation involving x, y, and z. We know that the graph of this equation is a surface in R3. In particular, the graph is a sphere centered at h, k, l, and of radius r. What are traces of surfaces? The intersection of a surface and a plane is called the trace of the surface on that plane. In this figure, the trace is represented by the red curve. It is the intersection of the surface colored blue with the plane colored red. One remark, in most cases, it is convenient to sketch a surface using its traces on the coordinate planes or on planes parallel to the coordinate planes. Traces are especially useful in the discussion on quadric surfaces. Let's consider the following example. Identify the traces of the surface z equals 10 minus 4x squared minus y squared on the planes x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 6. Note that the planes x equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 6 are planes parallel to the coordinate planes. Let's begin to identify the trees on the surface of the surface on the plane x equals 1. Essentially, we are looking for the curve of intersection of this surface with the plane x equals 1. Hence, we simply plug in x equals 1 to the equation of the surface. Trace on the plane x equals 1. So we substitute x equals 1 in the equation of the surface and obtain the following z equals 6 minus y squared. The graph of this equation is a parabola. So we say that the trace on the plane x equals 1 is the parabola z equals 6 minus y squared. Here's the illustration. So the blue uh, surface is the surface z equals 10 minus 4x squared minus y squared. The red plane is the plane x equals 1. It is parallel to the yz coordinate plane. The trace of the surface on this plane, on x equals 1, is this red curve defined by z equals 6 minus y squared. So we do the same for the other two cases. The trace on the plane y equals 2, so we get that by substituting y equals 2 in the equation of the surface. So we get z equals 6 minus 4x squared. So we say that the trace of the surface on the plane y equals 2 is the parabola z equals 6 minus 4x squared. So here's the picture. This is the surface, and this is the plane y equals 2. So the plane y equals 2 is parallel to the xz coordinate plane. The intersection of y equals 2 with the surface is this red curve defined by z equals 6 minus 4x squared. Finally, the trace on the plane z equals 6 uh, is uh, given by the following. So again, we plug in z equals 6 to the equation of the surface and obtain 
x squared plus y squared over 4 equals 1. We know that the graph of this equation is an ellipse. So we say that the trace of the surface on the plane z equals 6 is the ellipse x squared plus y squared over 4 equals 1. Here's the illustration. So this is the plane z equals 6. Its intersection with the surface is this red curve. So this red curve is the trace with equation x squared plus y squared over 4 equals 1. The next part will be on cylinders.